the Outbreak Perfected, a 450 RPM exotic pulse rifle that shoots 3 rounds per burst. The intrinsic is the corruption spreads, causing Steven Nanite Swarms to spawn on precision kills and on rapid hits. This gun also deals more damage to enemies based on the number of Steven Nanites that are attached to them. For PvE, this gun is good in just about every way. It is an exotic, so it does increase damage to red bars, and can increase its damage to enemies the more you shoot them for enemies with more health such as majors. Getting a headshot on one enemy can weaken the entire group of enemies if they are close enough. This covers the two bases that most people look for when evaluating a gun. Is it good for crowd control, and is it good for damage? For crowd control, the precision kills from earlier on top of enemies that are affected by nanites will spawn more nanites when killed. Damage wise, this isn't going to replace heavies on bosses, but it can be nice for higher end content with majors so you don't want to have to pick away their health with a scout rifle and you really don't want to waste your special on them. For PvP, it is a pulse rifle, which gives it an advantage as it has some good range and pulses in general are in a good spot right now. Outbreak has low recoil, making it easier to hit shots at range on controller. It has good range, letting it be more effective at range on both controller and keyboard and mouse. Even though there are other pulse rifles that may have similar stats, there's something about Outbreak that feels better when I use it over other legendary pulses, other than the BXR, which is almost an exotic in effectiveness, PvP-wise. The main competitor to this gun in both PvP and PvE would be the Bad Juju, as they're both 450 pulses that shoot bursts of 3 and occupy the kinetic weapon slot. I will probably do a video on the Bad Juju at some point, but it's another good pulse, but I haven't used it in a while. So I'm not going to go too in depth in this video on it, but from when I last used it, I liked it more for lower level PvE, because you could just chain kills with it, and it felt quite a bit more fun than Outbreak. But Outbreak is definitely more effective in higher end gameplay than the Bad Juju, because you can't really get that many kills in a higher end to keep the strings of curses chaining. For PvP, I like the Outbreak more as well because it has less recoil and the main perks from Bad Juju are not going to really work very often unless they're playing a 6v6 mode and even then, unless they're going one at a time, you're just going to get killed before you can get multiple kills. Overall, I would say that this is actually a very effective gun and you should give it a try in whatever you're playing next.